My filming setup is a little bit wacky today. The lighting's not great, but I am making do with what I can in the lovely smoke-filled, fire-filled Napa Valley. So I hope that we can we can get through this together, chewed down nails, crappy setup and all. So for today's Tip Task Tuesday, I'm gonna be looking at the Uniball Signo pens. Now, I know that there are a million different types of Uniball Signo pens. I myself use different types of them. The ones I am going to be looking at today are the ones I find to be the most accessible, which are the Uniball Signo 207. These are retractable rollerball gel pens that they sell at Target, at Walmart, on Amazon, Staples, they're everywhere. My favorite Uniball Signo pen, which I'm sure will make its way into the Thunderdome at some point, is the Uniball Signo, the Japanese import one. This guy here, these pens can be costly and they're not quite so easy to get your hands on. These guys I picked up at Target. I got two packs because I wanted to try some colors out. So the first pack was a two pack of black pens for $2.79 for the pack of two. And then I got a pack of six colors here that was $7.50 for the pack of six. So that's kind of where we're at with price. It seems pretty comparable to a lot of other pens you find at Target. Go through some claims, shall we? I'm gonna read these off of Target's website. It's basically the same thing I've seen on Amazon and Staples, and I'm just reading off Target's website because that's where I went to get the price I paid. Make a striking statement with thick, vibrant gel ink and intensely bold colors. Premium grip provides superior writing comfort and control. Features Uni Super Ink, which prevents against water, fading, and fraud. Refillable design with a stylish translucent ink window and attractive metal accents. These are the 0.7 millimeters PS. So these are refillable and I wonder how. Okay, you take the tip off and there you go. I do know that like just lifting one, it feels like a nice pen. These look like nice pens, like aesthetically speaking. If you're gonna judge a pen by its cover, I'm judging that these are nice. That's not really the best judgment and my cat is scratching the litter box and I have no idea if you can hear that right now. Hashtag poo emoji. Anyway, since I'm obviously having trouble paying attention to what I'm doing, let's just get right into the testing right about meow. Okay, let's take a look at these pens. They are very attractive. This like tinted window, like tinted windows on a car or whatever is just absolutely stunning. And the silver clip is beautiful and it feels pretty durable. I felt some of the pen clips. Now this isn't like the zebra where it goes way out, but it just doesn't feel like it's gonna snap, which is something that I felt with other clips. The grip is textured, not ribbed for her pleasure. It's got like bumps and I'm gonna grip it as hard as I grip. And it leaves a little indentation, but feels kind of okay. Now I know I love Uniball Signo ink in the fatty boom baddie ones, the uh, these big puppies here, the Japanese imports. And I've also used the Vision Elite before, and I like that one. But this just feels, because it's retractable, it feels a little bit more portable. So let's test. Yep, it's the same ink. At least it feels the same to me. It has that same kind of like viscous, sort of a little bit thicker feeling, kind of luxurious. Now, if this is anything like the other Uniball Signos I've tried, this is not gonna be fast drying ink. So yeah, we'll zoom in. It's smeared and I had been talking for a few minutes, but here we'll do right after. It doesn't claim to be quick drying though, but that most definitely is not quick drying. I can't talk about Uni Super Ink that helps prevent against check fraud and document alteration. I have no idea what that means or how to test that. And it's acid free and fade and water resistant. I guess water resistant, we'll have to test in just a minute. I'm gonna get some color testing done. And when I'm done with that, I will let you know kind of my thoughts on all the colors. All right, here are the colors, and I definitely have some thoughts. These are beautiful, vibrant colors. I will say that the blue has that situation going on where the white shows through in like a little line down the center, which I hate. None of the others seem to have that problem. And I'm curious to know if I just, but like I'm testing the blue over and over and it still has it. Like here, let me zoom in to see if you can see it. I don't know if it is. Well, easy to see. Yeah, I'm not sure how easy that was to see, but the blue most definitely has that little white line. And I don't know if that's just a fault of this particular pen or if it's in general, 
but overall that would suit me that the blue is just not high on my list of favorites. I love the orange and the purple. They're both super bright, super vibrant. I feel like the red is kind of like the same as any other red. I like the brightness of the pink and the green, but the pink is just, just light enough to make it hard to see. I prefer a deeper, more magenta pink, mostly just because for ease of reading, but as a color, it's really pretty. It's hard because of the way that these are made with the tinted barrel and then the kind of like clear tip kind of makes it hard sometimes to see, like judge the trueness of the color. But I would say of all of these, the pink is probably the least true to color and the rest of these are much more true, I guess you would say. The grip so far doesn't bother me. I wouldn't say it's like, you know, fucking phenomenal, but it is a decent grip. So for my heavy finger handedness, they're very, very comfortable to write with, which like I said, is kind of a hallmark to me of most Uniball pens. Like here is a Uniball Signo, the Japanese import one. And it also is nice and just, this is a bolder tip, but it's also just nice and comfortable. And the ink is just so like kind of thick and cushiony almost maybe is the word I'm looking for. All right, now that this is dry, I'm gonna take a second and test out the water resistant claim. So here's my water brush and I'm just gonna run some water right over. And yep, looks pretty water resistant. Look at that. Barely, like maybe a little tiny bit, maybe, but probably not. I think that might just be the color of the, the water on the paper. It looks like it didn't budge which is really awesome. You know, I went into testing these pens and I figured I'd like them. I know I like the other Uniball Signos. I've tried a couple of different varieties of them and I was right. They are nice pens. They are very comfortable to write with. The ink is really pretty. It's really nice and like viscous and thick. So it feels like kind of cushiony. I would like to give my opinion right now as of my testing that these are not lefty friendly. These smear even after a like, few seconds of waiting, they smear. These are, but they don't claim to be quick dry. So I guess that I can't hold it against them, can I? You know, it's funny though, with as much as I like the other Uniball pens I've tried and as comfortable as these were and as pretty as these were, I'm not like super over the moon about them. And I don't know why that is. I don't know if it's because these got, I love these pens so much. So these feel just kind of like their lesser cousin, which they in some ways are. I don't know if it's because I have been spending the last week like inside with cabin fever teenagers and inhaling smoke, not the fun smoke, the wildfire smoke. I like them. I'm just not, they're nothing, they're not making me jan like dance for joy. Like I love trying the Energels out and the Zuriva Sarasas were fun. And even when I got the Pilot Juice 07 tips, those made me really excited to try these. And these I'm just like, mm. They're nice. I like them. There's nothing wrong with them. They seem to be great pens, but they, they don't, they're not exciting. And I don't know why it is. We'll be doing the gel pen Thunderdome. I'm assuming unless, you know, more disaster rains down in the Napa Valley in my fucking life that I will be doing the live stream rather than a hot mess plan with me this month. I am going to be doing a live stream on the 29th question mark that Sunday. In the afternoon, I'll post everything. If you can see that I'm putting little comments on YouTube where I post something, that's where you're gonna find the best indication of when, unless you're a patron or in my Llamas Love Lettering group. But I'm assuming that the 29th is gonna be when I do the preliminaries for the Thunderdome, and then the big video will be posted on that Tuesday, Halloween. Who knows, maybe I'll be feeling better about these pens then. I don't know. I actually would like to know if you have suggestions for felt tipped pens, like along the lines of like Paper Mate Flares or Pilot Fine Liners. My next round of pen reviews is gonna be on felt tipped pens. And I don't know if I'm gonna be counting things like Pigma Microns, like drawing pens. I might just be thinking about like pens that were meant for just writing. I haven't decided yet. But if you have suggestions for fine line pens you'd like to see me take a look at, leave them down below in the comments. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you like my pen reviews. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time.